Right, hi guys, um, we're going to show you today how to do what I call an efficient, inefficient way to do barrows as a one defense beer. So here are my stats, you can see I'm one defense, uh, high mage, high range, uh, we're not going to be using melee because we have one defense, so that's not of a concern. So we're not going to be using anything crazy, so I just got to stock about some food here. So you can really use like shitty food, monkfish, even like tuna, you could get away with. So just for fun, let's just grab some tuna. Um, with this method, you're going to want to have one free spot. So let's do that real quick. Because you're going to want to switch to your two-handed bow, obviously. Alright, so let's get there first and then we can talk setup. So you're going to be one to be on a house party world. So 330 is the best for me because even though it's really crowded, I have the best ping because I'm in America. You could use another one of the worlds for house parties if you were not in America. But so I already have this set up. So you pick someone's house. Oops, I don't have it picked up anymore. So workless seems to be a good option. So you move into the house and you, as you can see, it's max. So you have your uh, pool that you can use. If you need to get back to the Grand Exchange or wherever else, you're good there. And you have your teleport nexus, which almost everybody will have barrows in there. So I'm good to go right now. So let's go to Barrows. Oops, let's go to Barrows. So I know the code here already, so I'm just holding down the O key because that's where it is. All right, so now I'm at Barrows. So let's talk about this for a second before we start. So you're gonna wanna obviously have a spade to get into the crypts. I bring like around two prayer potions just for emergencies. You're only gonna want, you're only gonna need one dose for this method if you do it correctly. Um, which is going to save you a lot of money and it's going to cost a little bit more on your time. Your run will take about, I would say, eight to nine minutes if you do it the best you possibly could. Maybe seven minutes if you are really lucky in terms of your RNG. Um, but that's how it is. I mean, we're going to take a little bit more time. So realistically, what? So nine times six is 54. So you could do about six to seven runs per hour, um, which really for a peer is great. Um, and pretty crazy. I just got Torx plate legs like two seconds ago So this is very doable. So for stuff you're gonna want prayer boost boosting gear because you're gonna be using prayer here um, You're gonna want your imbued cape I think that helps a little bit the most thing that's helping is your occult necklace because that's increasing your mad magic damage I believe the Ivan staff is best for my level because it costs a whole lot less than the trident or something similar um, and it still hits really hard. You're max hitting quite a bit. I think it's around like 25. So that's great. But you really want cheap prayer gear. Um, I just use this stuff because it makes me feel a little bit more better as a hitting mage. But I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. So really you could max out your prayer bonus to use as much, save as much prayer as possible. So you can get uh, whatever the holy wraps are, the sandals, ring of the gods, or ring of suffering would be probably the best, best prayer setup. Um, you could bring the blowpipe if you wanted to, but this is all about being inexpensive and cheap, just for example. So obviously you can scale this up. So you could do the blowpipe, you could do a better staff, obviously better food, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm using a ruin pouch here, as you can see, which is pretty necessary for this method to save spots. I have dust ruins to get back to teleport to house. I have my fire ruins for Ibn's Blast, and then obviously the law ruins for teleports as well. So it takes up one spot which is amazing all right so now that we're here let's look at what we got so generally speaking i like to start with arams so arams is the only one that you're using range for so right here you can see this pentagon of sorts there is six brothers so you have arams carol torag varok derok and guthans so that's all your spots I'll just start with this one first because I get to dump my specs into um, Arams and we're good to go. So you're going to want to do this pretty efficiently because the longer you stay down in the crypts, you get prayer drain. So there's my creature. I'm going to dump my specs as quick as possible. So I didn't get very good specs. So I hit a zero for one of them. That kind of sucks. So boom. So you can kind of see this is really glitchy on Ruin Light, but your prayer drains whenever you're in the crypts or in the actual tunnel slash maze towards the end of your run. So we're hoping this has not been the best RNG there. That's okay, so I'm done. 
I'm gonna click my prayer off. So I have 38 prayer. So essentially what I like to do from here, um, and it just depends a little bit, I like to go to Verox because Verox can hit through your prayer first off. So I'm gonna first switch back to your mage setup. So let's just talk before we get in there. It can hit through your prayer and it drains your prayer from what I can tell a little bit more than, or a little bit. So I, on top of the constant drain from, drain from being in the caves. So as you can see, I've done one. I'm gonna hit this again, get down to the tunnel. So I'm gonna check this. Okay, so that is my cave, which is not the best scenario. That's probably the least, the least ideal scenario for you to be in. So the next one I'm gonna do, at this point the order doesn't matter so much because Varox is there, is their tunnel, so you don't have to worry about it so much. So let's just do our ranger, Carol. So empty here. You could also turn on Entity Hider if you wanted to. That would help a little bit um, in terms of maybe your ping or your FPS would go up a little bit as well as just your mind wouldn't be so overloaded with so many people. Um, luckily there's nobody here right now, but so you can see I'm ripping through this quite well. So we might be able to do three brothers here. Boom. Okay. So yeah, we're going to be able to do three brothers here at once. So Torags is really weak. So let's do Torags. So realistically, you could do between two and three brothers before you have to teleport. So we're doing this. Now, obviously, I'm going a little bit slower. So if you're, you know, really in the groove, you could do this really, really fast. So I have 23 prayer points left. My drain is not that much because I have good prayer bonus, and I'm not getting drained from Torags, and I'm gonna hit really well on him because he's extremely weak to mage, and I'm using a very strong spell for my level. Um, obviously we talked about you could scale up, but that's not really important in this case. So I just kind of hover over this to be as efficient as possible. So now I'm teleporting out. I'm going to get rid of my prayer. I'm going to go to the friend's house. Um, you could always donate to them later if you feel inclined to do so. That's always nice. Use my pool. So you can see, even though this is like a quote unquote inefficient guide, this is still very efficient because you're doing it in such a way that is you know, you're doing it again and again and again, and you know exactly what to do. So while it is relatively slow compared to, you know, bringing a whole inventory of uh, restores and star brews, star brews, and, you know, maybe freezing these guys. So like, realistically, you could freeze Darok and all the melee brothers. Um, so you like with uh, ancients, so you don't have to um, use prayer at all. So that could save you potentially a little bit of time, but that's just not very efficient in terms of like clicking and all that kind of stuff. So now I've finished four brothers and I'm gonna use Guthans, which is the last brother before our cave. So you can see now I've essentially, you know, used, I've used zero prayer pots. I've used a cheap spell and I'm doing really well. So I, I don't know exactly my time right now but I, I would assume it's gonna be under 10 minutes um, even after all the talking I've been doing and kind of relaxing. So you're gonna continue to kill Guthans so you can see your prayer draining. So realistically, now that I've done a very efficient job killing all the five brothers, I'm not gonna have to recharge my prayer again by teleporting back. You realistically could if you wanted to, but as I'm gonna show you, you don't need to at all. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So I have seven prayer points left, which I'm gonna lose really fast here when I get into the tunnel. But I have all this food, this really shitty food that you don't really care about. It's very inexpensive. If you train cooking, you probably have a bunch of it laying around. So I'm gonna dig here. Once again, I'm gonna go as fast as I can. So I'm pressing one right now to get into the cave. Okay, so this is a great time to save spot if you wanted to save even more food. So I can show you best I can here. So it looks like I'm probably going to get attacked by one of these rats, most likely. Yeah, that's okay. They don't hit hard at all. So you're going to want to kill four creatures, between three and four creatures. So if you're killing two rats, then you're going to want to kill four of them, most likely. So you want anywhere for your potential. Um, as you can see, so we'll, I'm right now I'm at 54 uh, 58.4, excuse me. And now I'm at 62. So as you can see... I'm just going to kill the skeleton because I don't want to kill another rat. That messes up the ratio a little bit. So you click on your skeleton, like so. 
let him come into you. Oh, of course, he's going to get stuck there. That's good and bad in some cases. Just depends how many creatures in a room. So essentially, you want to get between between 85 and 90 percent potential. So right now I'm here. So because I've killed two rats, they give the least amount of potential. If you kill like two skeletons, that's a good thing. Or if you were to kill um, these little bloodworms, that's a good thing to kill. So here's a bloodworm right here. I can't get into it because of the maze. Um, so let's just get one more potential, and then I'll describe the maze to you a little bit. So um, let's see here. The only way I can go is here. So let's kill one bloodworm. Oh, well, that's not cool. So I now I gotta reset here because I don't have my prayer. So this is a good opportunity for me to kill another skeleton to get my potential where I want it. So sometimes uh, these guys can spawn outside of the treasure room, which is totally fine. So Varix can hit through your prayer, your prayer. So you're gonna wanna get your health up as much as possible. Take one dose of prayer potion. You're gonna use the appropriate prayer. In this case, it's prayer melee, and just smack them as hard as you can. Um, and you should be able to, Varex is a little bit different because it is probably the hardest brother for up here. As you can see, my prayer is draining very fast. So I might have to use two doses here, which is like another 2.5k. Not a big deal. Um, but that is how it goes sometimes. This is not the most ideal run in the world, but as you can see, it can be a lot faster. There, done. Okay, so now I don't really care about my prayer anymore because I can just tank the rest of these guys. So let's talk about... The maze here so it's a big uh, uh, square room with a bunch of different things the light doors as you can see compare this color door to this color door the light doors you're able to go through and the dark doors you're not and you want to get to this treasure room here so basically you just keep spam clicking on the doors once you reach your kill count so my kill count is a little high you would prefer to be closer to 86 percent but that's okay if you go above 90, you're liable to get bolt racks, which are not so good for anybody but an Iron Man. So, I mean, they're just not very expensive. That's why people don't like them. So, I just like to rearrange my food here just to make it a bit, make it look nicer. However, you can just keep going through. Just tank these guys. I mean, like, like I said, bring shitty food because they're not going to hit you hard. I don't think they hit above an 8. So, I can't go through that door. So, it looks like it's going to be this door. So it just depends. You might, you might get lucky on your maze. You might not. And another important thing is to have Ruin Light or West Buddy because they're going to have uh, plugins that allow you to solve this puzzle really fast here. So you can see if you were like struggling, it might take a little bit longer, but it selects the correct answer for you. You click on the door again, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm now here in our treasure room. I've already killed all six brothers, so I don't have to worry about killing another brother. Sometimes a brother will only spawn in the treasure room. So let's click on our prize and see what we got. Boom. So we got 32k. Not too bad at all. I'm going to teleport back to the house to recharge my stats. Boom. Recharge my stats. And then I'm just going to teleport away to kind of wrap everything up and talk for a second. So we don't have many people around us. So it's a really, really, really good guide for people who are not looking to spend a whole lot of money and have a little bit of extra time and are not worried about being hyper-efficient. On a one defense pier, it's already hard to do. So I would suggest doing this guide if you are looking to make some money um, in an efficient way that's not going to break the bank because you could do this much more efficient on a one defense pier if you brought... A whole inventory of brews and a whole inventory, like half inventory of brews, half an inventory of restores, and you could do it probably in less than five minutes. However, you'd be using a lot of money, and your input, uh, your output would probably be a lot less because, well, I get, I, it's hard to say exactly, but I, I, I believe this is probably the most cost-effective way to also make money because you know your clicks, you can easily get back to someone's house, recharge your prayer, and you can do three, two to three brothers at a time in a very fast way. So I think that's everything I wanted to say. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them, and I'll get back as soon as I can. Um, thank you, and have a great day.